Hey everybody, tonight I'm going to be adding some LED lights to the back of my Golden Axe arcade cabinet. Now, I've seen this done by a lot of other people for their arcades, and I thought it looked cool, so I thought I'd finally get in on it and add them to my arcade. If I like the way it looks on Golden Axe, then I plan to get lights for the rest of my cabinets as well. I'm using these Govi RGB Basic lights that I bought on Amazon, and I'll be putting a link in the description below. I also do want to mention that I did watch a video that Reckonall put up on YouTube to see how he placed his lights because I really liked the way that the lights looked on the back of his cabinets. So I'm going to put a link to his video below as well, so please check that video out. Now let's turn the cabinet around and let's get to work. Alright, so we have our lights right here, so we're going to start just taking off this... Uh, backing here so there's already tape on these and I'm going to start down here and we'll attach this power here Let's turn this around and we'll see how it looks with the lights out. We are going to cycle through the colors a little bit. So you have several different colors to choose from. Also get them to pulse. We just want steady light. Let's see how this looks with the arcade on. Uh, now you did see that these are you are able to cut these when you get it to the length that you'd like it to be um, right here on camera I'll try to get this in focus but this strip here this gold strip is where you can cut don't cut anywhere else on here but on this gold strip you can cut these um, now as for the rest of these lights I believe you can still use them uh, and uh, I think there is a way to attach them so you can use them uh, still if you had another set or you wanted to use even more lights. Uh, I'm not sure how to do that, uh, but uh, I'll have to look in the instructions and maybe look it up, find out how to use the rest of these lights. Uh, but I did buy the ones that I bought because they were on sale at the time, uh, so it was a cheaper option for me since I wasn't sure if it was something that I was going to want to go with uh, permanently for all my cabinets. But I think uh, I'm definitely going to get some more. I would like to get some for the Star Wars cabinet and go with a blue color light, a green color light for the Turtles, uh, maybe a green for the Rampage as well. Um, and then maybe yellow, orange for Golden Axe because it's closer to the color of the cabinet. But that is what I have for these lights. I hope you've enjoyed this little short video that I've put together of uh, me putting those lights on. Just a couple of other things I did want to mention here. This is a Pac-Man sign I found at Ross on sale recently. Um, it was uh, $10, and I think it's going to look really good in here when I find a place to put it up. Uh, I do intend to mainly put up artwork that is arcade-related uh, in this room, uh, not just video game-related in general. Uh, however, if it is related to the game, I might put it up. Anyway, for example, I have this uh, piece of artwork I got at a convention 
uh, this print of Raphael and Casey Jones I was thinking about putting over the Turtles cabinet. Uh, now I also have this really nice Castlevania piece that I got at a convention I also haven't framed yet. I thought about putting this up in the arcade. Now Konami did make a uh, Castlevania arcade game, Haunted Castle, that isn't that great, but it is a, technically a Castlevania game, so I think this would maybe fit in the arcade okay. But let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you think I should put this up in here, or if Castlevania should be left out because it's not an actual arcade game. Although I do think there was a versus Castlevania as well uh, at the arcades uh, of a version of the NES game. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Uh, I actually have just finished editing it, and so this is actually uh, the next day. Uh, but I thought I would show you something I've been working on. I'm putting this scoreboard together, and I'm going to be mounting this TV in the arcade and have the scores show up, the high scores for all the games that I have on those arcade cabinets. And I'm really looking forward to getting this all put together. I still have a little work to do on it as far as spacing of things. But I wanted to show you that not only will the scores be posted that are from inside of the arcade that myself and my friends post, I'm also going to be posting viewer scores. I wanted to make this a lot more interactive for you that are watching my channel. I really appreciate your views. So if you've placed a high score on any of the arcade cabinets that I have in my arcade, I want you to send those scores in to me and we'll keep track of who has the high scores best out of the top 10. Uh, and you can try to chase those scores and beat other people's scores that are uh, following the channel and watching my videos. Thought it'd be a lot of fun. I'm going to put a list in the description below of all the arcades that are in my um, little arcade in there of all the games that are on all those arcade units that do have high scores so that you know which games to submit scores for. I do want to say that if you submit a score for a game like Miss Pac-Man and you're playing on the fast version of that game instead of just the regular um, version of Miss Pac-Man, uh, please let me know. Uh, I will differentiate those scores. I'll, I might make a different board for Fast Miss Pac-Man, even though the table I have doesn't have uh, the option to play that version. I want to make sure that the scores are kept normal. So same thing, like if you're playing an altered version of Galaga, just let me know. But please submit those scores to me. I look forward to having your scores up on this scoreboard as well. I've already put all the games on here. Um, they're in alphabetical order. So just submit those to me. You can see I've got my placeholders here. But I'll have all that information for you in the description. You can just send me a picture of the get the game with your high score there, and I'll put it up. And we'll just put those high scores up for the viewer scores. Uh, we can put the initials that you put in, or we can just put your... YouTube name, and then the uh, score right beside it. I hope you enjoy that, and I'm also planning to start posting those scores as well at the end of my videos so everybody can see who has the current high score on the games. Um, thank you so much again for watching. Like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.